Hello everybody and welcome back to the inventing room. Today I have a little something uh, to show you that I've been working on. Um, this is uh, this is my video on Bunny Bot. <laughs> uh, I couldn't really think of any other name to call it. Essentially, what I w uh, what I wanted to do was create a uh, bunny rabbit in Minecraft that could traverse a maze and come to the end. So this is just a little example maze. Uh, this is Bunny Bot's brain, so to speak. Uh, I know alliteration with naming things, it's just the most common way to name things. So as you can see, he makes his way from the start of the maze to the end of the maze. Now the reason I wanted to do this was because I wanted to start looking into, uh, let's, let's stop this, to co uh, not cause any unnecessary lag. I wanted to create, um, oh, I wanted to look into creating sort of artificial intelligent uh, systems, uh, particularly in this case pathfinding. In, in Minecraft, uh, artificial intelligence is something that's very close to my heart and I'm quite passionate about it and I enjoy sort of the theory behind it and such. Um, yeah, th artificial intelligence as a term is actually, a, it's a very, very broad subject. Um, in this instance, I'm only going to be showing you and looking into the artificial intelligence of like pathfinding and such, but there's there's a whole host of things. I mean, essentially anything that you can you can do uh, attempting to make a machine do it is artificial intelligence, uh, so to speak. So this isn't really artificial intelligence. I wouldn't, I wouldn't define it as artificial intelligence. Not, not really, because it's not doing uh, anything intelligent here. This is more of a brute force attempt, which we will see with the big maze in a minute. But first, I want to actually go over what's going on in the brain. And for this, I'm going to come over here and show you these signs. So this is essentially the commands that it, it does. So it can see... Uh, it The bunny itself knows what direction it's facing. Um, and it can tell what's on all sort of sides of it. Well, actually, it, it, to be specific, it can only tell what's to the left of it and what's in front of it. And just knowing what's in front of you, what's to the left of you, and what direction you're facing, you can complete any two-dimensional non-changing maze. So any sort of maze like this, you, you should be able to, uh, you know, any basic maze, you should be able to complete by following these simple instructions. Um, so sorry if you're an avid hedge maze gr uh, goer, but uh, if you follow these rules, you will get to the end. Um, probably not as quickly. <laughs> Uh, but you will get to the end. This is a sort of brute force uh, approach. So the first thing you do is you check are you on hay. Uh, in this case, hay is our end point. The bunny wants to go and get a nice meal. Uh, although, as you see in the example, I just kill them when they get to the end. <laughs> so the, the reward at the end of the maze is a fallacy. It doesn't exist. Uh, if you're not, you go to the next command. If you are, then you just stop what you're doing and run the success. In this case, the success is, as I said, death. Uh, so you probably don't want to complete the maze. <laughs> but the bunny doesn't know that, don't tell him. Shh. <laughs> uh, on, on line two, you ask yourself, uh, is there air to the left of you? Is, is there space? Can you go left? Um, if you can't go left, you go on to the third. If you can go left, you turn left. And you, you, you turn yourself 90 degrees left, and you walk into uh, that sort of space. And then you check again, because you've moved, you come back to line one and you check again. Are you on hay? Are you at the end of the maze? And again, you run through these commands. So let's say that you were, um, that there is no way to turn left. You're at the beginning of the maze, no way to turn left. So you move to the next line, uh, or the next command that you have to check. And you check, is there air in front of you? Can you, can you walk forwards? And, uh, and if you can't, then you have to turn right instead. Because, as you said, you, you've already checked here, you, you've checked here, you can't go forwards. And, uh, and so you turn right, and, but instead of going back to the beginning, you go here. Because you've already checked previously, because you're standing in the same space, you haven't moved anywhere. You've already checked if you're at the end. You've already checked, is there air to the left of you? And because of this command of checking air in front of you, when you turn right, the left of you, you now know, is not going to be air. Uh, because it wasn't air when it was in, in front of you, so it's not going to change now. 
and uh, and then you you essentially keep turning right until it's yes. Now this command's quite important because it means that if we follow these commands, uh, we sort of if we're facing here, this is forwards, and we're just like, is there to the left? No. So I guess we keep going forwards, we keep going forwards. There's nothing to the left, nothing to the left. Ah, oh, can't go forwards anymore. Hmm. Well, we'll turn right. Okay. Nothing to the left all the way down here. Oh, we'll just keep turning, keep turning. Oh, look. We can walk, walk forwards again. So we can go down here. Oh, we can turn left. We can turn left. And as you can see, this will get you to the end. So if I grab a command block quickly, we'll check out the big guy. And we can see why this isn't an intelligent system. Why we kind of don't want to use this. We wouldn't want to use this. Uh, it gets the job done. Oh, it gets the job done. Let's uh, shift. No, wait. Shift right click. Sorry, middle click. Sorry, control middle click. There we go. Yeah, so let's pick up this uh, this command here that I've got. What this command is going to do is it's just going to put redstone blocks above it. And if we place this down here and turn on our brain again and come over here, I'm probably going to time lapse this because, as I said, this is going to take a bit. So we'll summon a, a bunny and watch the bunny go. So if we come up here, and you can already start to see there's a lot of overlap in the way it walks. Uh, it has to come down the same routes very, like, a lot. It takes a while to get around, and it's generally doing a very, very large sort of pattern. So if I cut from here to when it gets to the end, Right, so it's just finished up here, the bunnies managed to get to the end, and as you can quite clearly see, uh, it's not sort of a direct route, it's not the sort of... It, it took a very long time for it to finish, and it's pretty much explored half of the maze, which is not very efficient. In fact, as you can sort of see this diagonal thing, where it's done the whole sort of left quadrant of the... Uh, of the maze, and, and it would have continued doing this. If there was no end, it would have uh, gone through every single part of this maze, and it would have gone left sort of around the whole maze. If we had programmed this to check the right wall, uh, then it would have gone this way all the way around. It, it may have actually found the um, the end a little bit sooner. But as you can see, this is, this is, not, this is not the way <laughs> to complete a maze. Uh, it's very cool looking. It's a very, very nice pattern that, that it's made here, but it took a long time for it to um, to reach the end. So what I'm planning to do with this is, in, in my spare time, I think, um, well, actually, a lot of this is in my spare time, but uh, in, in my spare time, I think what I'll try and do is implement perhaps uh, an algorithm or, or what have you, which is a little bit more intelligent, uh, takes into account uh, a few more things, perhaps implements a smarter system because the left hand the follow the left hand wall system of maze completion as you can see isn't all that great <laughs> uh, hopefully I can implement something in Minecraft that will allow our little bunny to take the easiest path to it and uh, I really do encourage anybody watching this video to look into different pathfinding algorithms uh, because you might learn uh, quite a lot of interesting things, particularly about games that you like, because, as you know, um, the different uh, AI that you go up against in games have to use algorithms, well, not like this, but uh, uh, pathfinding algorithms all the time to find out where to go within a game. Um, this is a sort of grid uh, pathfinding algorithm. Everything's within a grid, and it, and it checks in relation to... To things within a grid space so it's actually quite easy to to find some pretty good and optimized pathfinding algorithms for this but I digress <laughs> uh, so if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like and uh, yeah keep I will keep working on this and um, and you guys be sure to go go into the go your Google and find your find your favorite pathfinding algorithm it's uh, quite a fascinating topic and I will see you guys next time.
Goodbye. Thank you.